Hello everybody, this is uh, Tutorials on Game Solid here, and today I'm doing my fourth episode in the Game Solid Tutorial Playlist, and this one's going to be on Gravity. So, let's make a new project, and, well, you can, you don't have to make a new project, um, as we had problems with iPhone 6 uh, landscape last time, I'm just going to keep it on iPhone 5 landscape, and I'm going to call this, um, Gravity tutorial. Oh yeah, and if you haven't gotten Game Solid yet, you just have to go to GameSolid.com. Oh god, GameSolid.com. And just press Make Games now, and you have to enter your email. You don't have to do a fake one. You can, don't have to do a real one. I mean, and just click this, and start for download. So, go to your scenes, and you can just name this scene one, I guess. I'm going to make the color white. And I'm going to make a new actor called about just a ball. And since it just looks better if you have an actual ball, just look up ball clip art. Okay. So, I'm um, sorry if you hear any noise in the background, but I have gotten my ball. It took a lot longer than I thought it would because of uh, technical difficulties. So, uh, but I finally got a ball. So, let's just drag this into our ball actor. And you can just drag it onto the scene. Just make it like this big. So, now if we play the scene. Obviously, nothing is going to happen. So, we need to add some uh, behaviors to the ball. So first, let's, I think an accelerate would be good. And if that doesn't work for some reason, we can just use a move. So, direction is obviously going to be, um, oops. Uh, 180, 270. Sorry, it's obviously gonna be 270 because we want it to go down, not up. So if we just go like this, it's going to go down, but not very fast and kind of unrealistically. Because if you drop the ball, technically it wouldn't go slowly down unless you were some anti gravity chamber, which no one really has. Um, oh, that has at least. Uh, you it would kind of drop down fast. And then bounce a few times. So let's have the acceleration to 400. That looks more realistic. And it's kind of laggy too. So now we can just make a platform. And this platform, I'm not going to get any textures for this. It'll just be sort of like a brown. Oh. And in the platform, the uh, uh, physics, the density should be zero, friction zero, bounciness zero, fix rotation, and move uh, unchecked. So drag our platform in, make it a little smaller, and drag it down. So this is what we have. And um, nothing happens when the ball touches the platform. So what we're going to need to do is have the ball have a collision. So we can just go to collide, vector of type platform. So if we preview, it's going to go like this. And it's just going to go higher and higher and higher. So, what I think we could do is change the bounciness to zero. I mean, not zero, but bounciness down a little bit. So let's try 0 0.25. And that happens. And it doesn't really... Yeah, that is going to be... 
problematic. But fine. I was just kind of annoyed by that little gap right there. But it's just faulty of the image. But what's happening is it just bounces there. But say this was a like a bouncy ball or something like that. And you want it to be a little more bouncier. Oh, uh, we could try 0 0.5. That would work too, but that's more like something else. We could try 0 0.75. Good God. I'm sorry if you hear stuff in the background. I have like eight year old cousins over. And yeah, so that looks pretty realistic. We reload it, it drops down, bounces a few times. Looks something like a bounty ball would do. And say you had a hand or something holding the ball, and when you pressed a button, the ball would fall. That's pretty easy to do. All we have to do is add an attribute. We can call it, uh, I think it could be a boolean. We'd call it fall. And need to leave it as false. So what we could do now add an actor, call this actor button, and the button, a typical button would be red, also be a circle, but no, not in our case, because no circles in game solid unless you have an image. So the button could go right here, and you play, click the button, it still falls, and even if you don't click the button, it still falls, and yeah. So, Um, actually, no. We want to add an attribute here called fall. So it can be publicly accessed. So, I need to create a rule. Oh my god, they are loud. I don't know what they're doing. Sorry about that. Um, uh, actor receives event, or attribute, I mean. Oh, oh my god. Actor receives event. Touch is pressed. I am sorry about that. Act, uh, god. Act, actor receives event. Touch is pressed. Change attribute. I kind of had a brain fart right there. Game. Fall. To. True. And then. We can just make a rule back in the ball. Create rule. Uh, attribute game fall is true D oh my god change this rule they just put accelerate in the rule so now if you go like this nothing's gonna happen you can just stay here forever you press this it falls so that is your basic gravity. If you want to see some other tricks that you could do, um, which could be more advanced gravity, like, I don't know, um, well, if I didn't cover everyone's question in this video, then you can just add... A comment in the space below and I will make a video on that but I'm thinking about particles will be next so have a good day